Hi guys, this is Wim from Belgium. You know, after listening to several theories about the flat earth and the spherical theory, I thought, well, they are both right, but how can we combine them? And then one day I had an idea, a possible solution. I'm not saying it's true or not true, but it's a possible solution. It's a very simple one, but at the same time very, very scary. Listen up. Okay, we are going to start with the spherical theory. So, it's simple. We take a ball and we call it Earth. We surround this ball with another ball and we call it the plasma belt. Then we take the sun and we let it shine on the Earth. The Earth is giving a reflection on the plasma belt. And on the plasma belt, we see our own reflection. The reflection is, surprise, the moon. What do you mean, the moon is the reflection of Earth? What do you mean, where are all the rivers and the forests? Yeah, but let's suggest that Earth is a thousand times bigger than we are told. Then the moon is a reflection of a gigantic big earth. So let's move over to the flat earth. It's simple. We take the flat earth and we zoom in into the moon and then we see all those circles, the so-called asteroids impacts. Well, let's suggest that one of those asteroids impacts is a flat earth. That would mean that we are surrounded by other biosystems. So, if this theory is correct, now we understand why Antarctica, the so-called Antarctica, the snow wall, is being militarized. We are afraid of other biosystems attacking us. It's like in the series Game of Thrones, where there's a gigantic ice wall protecting us from invading species. So, when you hear another story about aliens coming from other star systems, well, maybe they won't be coming from other star systems. They might be coming from planet Earth. Maybe on one system you have the humanoid species being dominant, Maybe on the other biosystem you have the reptoid or the insectoids being the dominant species. And when you hear the story of Jules Verne, when people are going to the middle of Earth and they discover a totally new world, maybe there are tunnels here on Earth where you can reach other biosystems. And instead of going to the center of Earth, you are going to uh, another biosystem. So, why would they not be telling us this all? Well, maybe the elites are thinking, well, our population is not ready for this information. They will panic when they know that we're not alone on this planet. Well, for myself, I would rather hear the truth than being lied to all the time. So guys, what do you think? You know, what I'm saying here is not the absolute truth, it's a suggestion. It's a good idea, it's creative, so let me know what you think. If you think it's pure madness, no problem, I can live with that. But I think there's some good ideas in it. What do you think?